Good afternoon, everyone. It is so good to see you all. I am joined here um, by Council Member Lachey Harris, Council Member Michael A. Patterson, and of course, our promoter, Varick Bayina, as well as Deborah Brundage, who is the Chief Marketing Officer, um, Chief Marketing and Sales Manager for MVP Health. Oh, and, and, and President of, of the County Legislator, Sabrina Lamar, is here. Thank you for being here as well. We are here today to announce the lineup. Now, Jimmy Highsmith's in the house as well. Jimmy's here. Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy. Um, we are channeling the warm weather because August 18th and 19th, the 27th annual Rochester Summer Soul Festival is back. I want to take a minute to thank Varick and the team at Experience Live for helping us make this festival possible. This is one of our special staple events of the summer. We have all the festivals all throughout the summer and then it closes out summer with the Summer Soul Fest, so we are happy to be here. This summer we have a great lineup. I'm not gonna get ahead of Varick, I'm gonna let him announce that. And then a and after he announced it, I'll spit some of the lyrics, <laughs> folks, that we're gonna have. Let me give a special thanks first off to MVP Healthcare, and you're gonna hear from um, one of our sponsors in a second. I want to thank Wegmans and Constellation Brands. Um, their partnership with the City of Rochester helps us bring this Summer Soul Fest to the community year after year. Now, before I come back up and um, give, my, give some more thoughts and comments, I want Varick to get up here and give us um, the lineup. Varick, why don't you kick off the lineup? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, Rochester. It's good to be home, as always. Uh, this is... Uh, always a special time of the year. Uh, we're looking forward to bringing it down to parcel five this year. Parcel five. Parcel five, so five. definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, it feels good. So definitely gonna give you the lineup today, but before I do that, I wanna announce a little bit about something new we're gonna do for this year for the community. So we're gonna do a community concert series that's leading up to it this year. You like that? Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so these are going to be all free concerts. They're going to start on June 3rd with the 19th Ward Aberdeen Square Fair. Definitely, uh, definitely excited about that. Then we're going to go to International Plaza on July 22nd, and then on August 5th to the Pan African Fest at Highland Bowl. And then we're going to go to David Gantt Center uh, on the 12th. But even before all that kicks off, we're going to do a special kickoff on the 20, 27th, Jimmy, of May, at uh, Innovation Theater, where Jimmy's going to play Al Jarreau that day. <laughs> so that, that's going to be a special kickoff. So for this year's lineup, Friday, August 18th, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Big Daddy Kane headlining. My man. Big Daddy Kane. Absolutely. So the, the, the special thing about that is Big Daddy Kane is going to come with a live band. He never does that. But for Rochester, he said, Ver, Mayor, we'll, we'll do it for you. So we appreciate that. We have Troop, which is, you know, R&B legends. Spread my wings. Spread my wings. They're going to spread their wings right here in downtown Rochester. And then also, Adina Howard is coming. You know, she's still looking great. She is awesome, still sounding great. So we're excited about that. Then, of course, we got Jimmy Highsmith. He's going to introduce a couple of artists to us as well. Uh, and we have the NASA family. That's Friday night, August 18th. And then Saturday, headlining, we have the legendary R&B group Silk. We got Silk coming out this year. So happy to have them coming out. Uh, and they're gonna be followed up by, well actually they're headlining that night. And then we're gonna have the legendary Kid and Play come out. Hey. Kid and Play's coming out. They haven't been in Rochester probably 30 years, they said. So definitely happy to have them back. And then from the West Coast, we're gonna bring uh, one of the queens of hip hop, Yo-Yo. Absolutely. So we're absolutely looking forward to that as well, uh, along with uh, our legendary Mambo Kings. 
are coming out as well. And then a uh, young brother from Buffalo, who I think everybody will definitely enjoy, is Rod Bonner. So we're, we're, when you see him, he's, uh, he, it's like he's legendary already. So that's what we have for this year. And uh, just super excited about it. We're going to you know, party all the way leading up to it all summer long. And uh, I'll pass the mic back to the mayor. Yes. Um, so we are, we are um, extremely ex excited. Um, Big Daddy Kane, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite hip-hop artist. We're celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. And Big Daddy Kane had a line that I used to always say. I still say it. It's, called, it's in a line called, Ain't No Half Steppin'. He says, pick a BC date, because you're history. He's got a man, and if you, if you hear Jay-Z and some of the other folks, they, they'll tell you Big Daddy Kane, was, he, he's one of the original. So it is a big deal that he will be here in Rochester. So we are absolutely um, so happy to see Big Daddy Kane. And then, you know, hip hop, it runs the trajectory. You know, you, you have folks like Big Daddy Kane, then you have folks who like getting the party started. Big Daddy Kane get the party started too, because he could dance. But Kid and Play, yes, sir. Kid and Play, I used to sneak and watch House Party when I was a kid. <laughs> class act, they were in all those movies. And you guys need to make sure you start practicing the kid and play dance. Now, if you don't know the kid and play dance, it's like the old cha-cha. But the difference is you kick your leg with it. So you go back, you go forward, you kick your leg, kick your leg, do it three times, and then you hold it, and then you, so you, you'll see us doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna demonstrate it right now, because I'm wearing the, but the executive staff and the staff in the mayor's office, I've had them practicing it. So on August 19th, all the employees know at City Hall but they, that they need to be on parcel five getting busy with the kid and play dance. Ola, ola, a, eh, we love kid and play. So we are very, very excited about that. Before I bring up um, our sponsor from, um, from uh, MVP Healthcare, and we're so happy that they're here, I want to have Lachey Harris. Lachey Harris is our council member in the, um, in, in the, in the South District. Um, it's one of her babies that she loves so much is Square Fair. I thought I also saw Josie McClary. Is Josie in the house? Josie McClary's in the house. She's also president of the 19th Ward Community Association who's, who's here as well. These pop-ups are really, really cool. And, I'm, and I'll reiterate, reiterate those again at the end. But Lachey Harris, if you can just talk a little bit about the, the pop-ups that are happening and how, how excited you are about that. Well, I'll tell you, I've been doing Square Fair since 2011 as the chair and I can tell you that we are so excited to be partnering um, about this. But before I get into that, I'm gonna talk about the Square Fair. It's the 19th Ward tradition for families looking to have a great time on a sunny day. It is also our largest fundraiser. The 19th Ward Community Association it will be hosting local vendors, crafters, nonprofit agencies, and it provides the opportunity for local business to sell products and promote their programs and services and we also provide entertainment and variety of food and family fun. I said family, 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 family. So it's family programming. This event would not be possible if it was not for our city of Rochester mayor, Malik, and his team, um, Varick and his team at Experience Live Events, and all the 19th Ward um, Community Association members, um, Sabrina Lamar from the county, Adam Bello from the county, Monroe County, they support us. Um, ESL Federal Credit Union, Wegmans, and the University of Rochester, and other sponsors. This year is going to be epic because we are one of the pop-up events. We've never been a pop-up event associated with a festival of this kind. Um, our headliner for our pop-up event is a, a band called Amore, Amore Band. And um, we're going to have other, other guests and, and, and entertainment that's appropriate for families. We are doing this on June 3rd, Saturday. We're starting at 10 a.m. We'll be out there till like 5 p.m. We hope you guys come out and join us for this experience that's brought on by Summer Soul Festival. So. I'm excited. You, got, you can't even imagine how excited I am. <laughs> Not, I'm more excited <laughs> That's than right. You. That's right. There we go. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, so Varick's bringing us back home. Uh, Parcel 5, as you know, that has become a community space. Folks won't even let me touch Parcel 5. I, I talk every now and then and say, I want to put, no, 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 no. So because, we're, because that space has become such sacred, sacred community space, it's going to be great to be able to go back to this format of be having this outdoor concert. And we're so very, very excited about that. Um, so I want to have our um, good friend from MVP Health, 
Um, I'm going to have Mrs. Uh, Deborah Brundage to come up and um, talk about MVP's uh, sponsorship of the festival. And we're just so grateful that you are here in Rochester to um, support this festival. So, Deborah. Thank you to Mayor Evans and the City of Rochester for your continued partnership. I'm honored to be here on behalf of MVP Healthcare to support the Rochester Summer Soul Festival and the series of community concerts across the city this summer. These concert series celebrate the vibrancy and culture of the community where we all live, work, and play. Though this is the first time MVP Healthcare is sponsoring this event, we know that it's one of the best summer traditions in Rochester, as it will provide multiple opportunities to enjoy great music and celebrate 50 years of hip hop. And I too am very excited to see Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. I'm also looking forward to the five pop-up community concerts happening throughout Rochester leading up to the main event in August. These pop-up concerts will allow for the entire Rochester region to be a part of the festival by creating a greater sense of community, celebrating culture and music. Community events like the Rochester Summer Soul Festival create a powerful space for us all to gather and enjoy great music as well as each other's company. These events help improve our overall health and happiness. As a not-for-profit organization with a large presence here in Rochester, MVP Healthcare is proud to support and invest in the communities we serve to ensure our customers and communities can live their healthiest lives. We are committed to being the difference for our customers by helping them navigate their personal health journey while continuously pushing ourselves to make healthcare simpler and more personal. Supporting meaningful opportunities for the community will always be part of our commitment to this greater Rochester region. Thank you again to the city of Rochester and to Mayor Evans for your continued partnership. And we look forward to seeing everyone this summer at the Rochester Summer Soul Festival. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah, and thank you, MVP Health. Now, you guys know I'm a music head. I know all about music. All these artists that are coming have gold or multiple platinum albums. Silk, who's coming on Saturday night, um, you know, founded by Keith Sweat. Uh, so, have sold millions of albums. Um, though, you know, it, it, their songs were the soundtrack of many of our lives, right? Um, Big Daddy Kane. All, all of these folks are, um, some of them are, are icons. Big Daddy Kane is, a, is, an, is an icon in the, um, the hip-hop world. Troop. I mean, that's, you know, that goes back. Um, those guys, again, um, mil has sold millions of, of records. So it's so great. Yo-Yo, positive. Rap. You had Queen Latifah, right? You had you had Yo-Yo. You had MC Light. This is when I, I can let my kids listen to um, most of these artists, most of them. <laughs> Silk, you know, that, that's for grown folks. That's for the, that's for the grown folks. Silk and Adina Howard. That, that's for the grown people. But Kid and Play, Big Daddy Kane. I mean, these these are folks that um, Yo-Yo was about um, women empowerment. When you listen to her. Um, and even the work that she does um, in the community that goes beyond her music. So this is really a celebration of, the, of 50 years of hip hop. So I think it's an opportunity for our young people to really learn so much about um, the, 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 um, the history. So this lineup sounds great. Again, I just want to mention again, the, 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 um, in addition to the festival on August 18th and 19th, you heard about the four concerts around the community this summer to promote um, the show and maybe give away some tickets. We might give away some tickets, but at every event. At every event. Now, that doesn't mean no, stop buying them today because they're on sale today. today. So you can start doing today. But again, I want to reiterate these pop up sites 19th Ward Square Fair, June 3rd, which is just right around the corner, International Plaza on July 22nd, the Pan African Festival on August 5th, and the Gantt R Center on August 12th. So you, you want to make sure that you are at all of those places for sure. So mark your calendars for those. Um, the, the only other thing I want to say is, again, tickets are on sale today. Bring your family and friends to the Rock Summer Soul Fest, Fest. You don't want to wait, because in the words of Big Daddy Kane, if you pick a BC date, 
your history. You're going to miss it. And we don't want you to miss this, 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 great, this great festival and the fact that we're outside bringing it back to the festival roots. If you remember Music Fest of, of Lore of back in the day, and I've been to probably almost all of them since I was a kid, uh, back when Bill Johnson first started this, Bill Johnson and Loretta Scott had this vision. If you remember, a lot of them were outside. So I've been at Jones Square Park. I've been at Genesee Valley Park all around. So now we're back outside with this festival-like format with multiple groups over two days. The ticket prices, ladies and gentlemen, are reasonable. They are reasonable prices. Vera can talk about that if anyone wants to learn more about that. But I just want to say we are so excited about this upcoming Summer Soul Fest, and I hope to see everyone come out and experience these legends um, that will be in our city on August the 18th and 19th. Now, with that, we will take any questions that you might have about the Rock Summer Soul Fest, and then if you have any questions that are off topics, I will take any off topics after we deal with these topics. So um, any questions on the Rock Summer Soul Fest for Varric or anyone else? Varric, or, or go ahead. They're absolutely critical, right? I mean, we, we support so many festivals, and the economic impact is unbelievable. So there's something called the hotel motel tax, right? The hotel motel tax is what helps us fund city government, what helps us fund county government. So if we don't have these festivals where people are spending money and coming to town and staying in hotels, that hurts our three-legged stool. So bottom line is, these festivals, not only are they good for fun and generating excitement in the community, but from a dollars and cents standpoint, they are important for us from an economic development standpoint. Because when city council goes to pass the budget every year, they go and look at a certain line, and it's called the hotel motel tax. And that is hundreds of millions of dollars. I think almost this year, it's going to be like almost $200 million. That is, those are dollars that are generated from people coming to town for festivals, from people spending money as a result of these festivals. So they are absolutely critical. So the Lilac Festival, the Jazz Fest, um, the, the Summer Soul Fest, the, the Harbor Fest, the Square Fair, all of these festivals, all of these events are absolutely critical, not only for the enjoyment of our citizens, but they're also important for our coffers so that way we can provide basic city services. So that's why these, these, these things are so important. Juneteenth, all these events are important because guess what? People spend money at these events. So it's a great question. They are absolutely critical to the success of our city, and that's why we need to make sure that we continue to do so many more of these events. We're known as the festival town. And, and what I love is, is that I'll be at Rock Summer Soul Fest, and I'll be next to somebody, and I'll say, where are you from? They say, I'm not from Rochester. I'm from, I'm from Baltimore, or I'm from Syracuse, or I'm from Albany. So people come here because we're known as, um, we're known as a festival town. And it starts early, because if you remember, we started with the parades and festivals. We started with St. Patrick's Day Parade, um, Lilac Festival's coming up. We got the LPGA this year. So we have all these different events. And then how we're putting a spin on it this year is having these pop-ups, where we're, we're kind of wetting your appetite, where you're getting, where you, where you're getting the, the, uh, the, the pre-meal, and then the 18th and 19th is the main dish. So by doing that, we're really extending out our summer. And it, we, we just got so many, so many party in the park. I didn't, you know, we didn't even touch that. All of these events that we are doing are meant to bring vibrancy and fun and activity to Rochester because we don't just want to be a live work community. We want to be a live work play community. And these events help us to be able to encapsulate that play part while at the same time making sure that we generate dollars and revenue for our city. Anything else on the festivals? Eric, what about Parcel 5 being an attractive venue for all of Well, Parcel 5 was um, attractive. When we, when we started talking about planning this, I said, can we find somewhere outside that's in the center of the city? And Parcel 5 has kind of become that place. If you notice, we got the big City of Rochester, I Love City of Rochester um, sign right out front that kind of invites you in. We've done the RPO show there. The Jazz Fest will be having a lot of events there. So Partial 5, which is right smack dag in the middle of the city, I couldn't think of a better place for us to be able to have a spot where we're going to be celebrating 50 years of hip-hop and having these icons come and, come and perform than the, the central part of our city, which is, which is really Partial 5. So that is a, a great opportunity for us to be able to have um, great entertainment there. Anything else on uh, Rock Summer Soul? We're excited. Varric, anything else you wanted to add before the end? No, everything's good. I'm just, uh, you know, excited to see all the support. Um, it's just really all about bringing the community together in a positive way. That's it. That's all. That's right. To have fun, period. So come on out all summer long, and we look forward to having you. We should do a... a, a um, 
a contest who, for who can grow the highest high top fade. Because you know, kid from Kid and Play used to have the. My son's trying to grow one now. I mean, it's coming back. You guys, yeah, we might be able to get you a weave though. We might be able to get you a weave. Eastman School of Music is involved in the pop ups. And Eastman School is also involved in the pop ups, which we are also very excited about. So this is that collaboration piece where we have so many people that are involved in these pop ups. Anything else on Rock Summer Soul? Okay, great.